All right, McLovin, what's the poll question you're going to go with? If they were coming out today, who would you draft, Drew Brees or Peyton Manning? And I don't think you answered the question. I would take Peyton Manning. I'd take Peyton Manning. Anybody take Drew Brees? Paulie, you would? Yeah. Okay. I, 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 would, I wouldn't want either. Neither are mobile enough for today's game. <laughs> you know. Yeah, but the fact, you don't have to be mobile as much as you're, you're not allowed to hit the quarterback, and everything is short passes here. And the, Peyton's ability to go to the line of scrimmage and change it, so now you're at an even more decided disadvantage on the defensive side of the ball. Peyton today, like of all the quarterbacks, I think Dan Marino would probably have benefited the most of playing today because Marino had a spread offense, he had the quickest release, and he could, he could throw it deep, he could throw it short. I, I think Marino would probably benefit more than any other quarterback. And I'm curious about that because Elway was mobile. I wonder if, if how he would have benefited. But of all the quarterbacks, it feels like Marino would probably be the one who would uh, benefit the most. Peyton, Peyton's ability to be able to process in real – like we talk about Sean McVay. So Peyton, Sean McVay on the field. He's better than Sean McVay when it comes to processing. So he's doing that in real time, and you have no chance against him. So when he's playing at his best – I don't think that anybody was better than Peyton Manning at his best at, at carving you up, deciding what he's going to do at the line of scrimmage. I think he was always a step ahead of everybody else. Yes. Eden. That quote from Rodney Harrison always sticks with me though, about Peyton Manning, yep. where he said, we just knew at some point at the end of the game, he was going to cough one up. Peyton in the playoffs is different. That yeah. all, that always sticks with me. Yeah. That like, man, I don't know. I might want, I might want Drew Brees instead. Yeah, Paul. Dungey had a quote, too, that's always stuck in my head. And Dungey is as big of a Peyton Manning backer. He says, sometimes he gets paralyzed by analysis. He said that to you, and he caught a little heat for it. He said, sometimes Peyton may overthink things. One thing on Breeze, he doesn't get sacked anymore. He he averages getting sacked one time per game over the past three years. He's been sacked nine times in nine games this year. You never touch him. Yeah, McClough. I think the damning thing is the Saints haven't been consistent winners. You know, they've been 500 for almost half of Breeze's but I know it's all on the defense. And in Breeze, last year's playoffs, I thought was a bit disappointing. I think he was having some shoulder problems. Yeah, I d- he didn't look healthy last year. And I don't know if this year's Saints are better than last year. But, you know, you can look at this as, is Breeze healthier this year? They don't have Mark Ingram. But, and it feels like you got, you still have Ted Ginn. But, be, I mean, Michael Thomas is your guy. And Kamara, maybe not as dangerous as he was last year. Yeah, McLeod. Well, Breeze got a little rest with the broken hand, too. By the way, what happened to that broken hand? He can't miss a pass now. I know. Well, he missed one last night. Yeah, I'm pulling. You know, you could say that Breeze has been 500 sometimes, but his worst season as a Saint, he's had a bunch of seven and nine seasons, but it's never been worse than that. But he's also had 13 wins, 11 wins, 13 wins, 11 wins, 13, 11. And that's a franchise that was known for doing nothing for a generation, and he's made them at least competitive every year. And I hate having the argument, but it almost feels like it's welcome today because Drew Brees is putting up these numbers. Uh, If he got an opportunity to play in another Super Bowl, obviously with what happened with the Rams, uh, you know, would we look at him differently? You know, Peyton's got two, but does he really just have one that he was, you know, a a really good quarterback or a great quarterback? But you got a five-time MVP in Peyton Manning. You know, so the argument is, who would you rather have? And I would still take Peyton Manning. I think Peyton Manning changed the game. Five MVPs. He was first team all pro seven times. Um, He had two non-double digit win seasons in his career. And granted, you like to say this all the time, McLevin. Yeah, but he was playing in the AFC South. He got to play indoors. I get all of those things. Drew Brees, all right, he's in the NFC South. And he's playing indoors. Peyton Manning changed football. So I would put Peyton Manning above Drew Brees, but I would, I'd have no problem if you said, hey, I'm going to take Peyton, you get Brees. I would be fine with that. I, I think it's that close, and I don't think there's a wrong answer. For more Dan Patrick Show, tune in to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV, stream for free on BR Live, or download the Dan Patrick Show app.